All right, you guys ready to go over all the new updates? That's happening at that Gamagoki event where people are playtesting Akuma. We got a bunch more Akuma info. Uh, we have more balance change reports. I have a friend of mine that's actually at the event right now. Really exciting. He's testing stuff for us. So uh, I can uh, give some more info on a bunch of things. And I think I want to go over this uh, dry reversal change uh, as well in a little bit more detail. Because I'm seeing people still panicking that they didn't nerf throw loops. But this dry reversal change really helps against that. And I want everyone to kind of understand uh, why it's a big deal. Okay, first thing though, I, I want to go over a funny story with you guys. So top player Ata was at the event on day one and started a huge controversy over this Akuma Raging Demon single input on modern controls. He incorrectly told everyone that you can do Raging Demon with one input and it started a huge panic. Of course it was Ata. If you guys don't know who Ata is, he's a Ken player. That's all you need to know. Ata trolled everyone and it backfired immensely or did it? It got so bad that Capcom themselves had to tweet out and just calm everyone down and say, Hey guys, you know what? Ata's lying to you guys. The Raging Demon input cannot be done on modern controls with a single input. You still have to manually uh, put it in. But for modern controls, it's light, light, medium, heavy. You don't have to press forward, but you know, that doesn't really matter anyways, because it's three inputs. You can go light, light, and then medium, heavy, and forward at the same time. On, on classic so yeah this is actually a big deal because uh what capcom said is it, uh, the both the akuma demo build and the final build you cannot do raging demon with a single input and that's interesting because that tells us that they're not actually playing the final version of this game and all these balance reports that we're getting might not be final so that's that's cool that explains a lot of things if you guys are panicking because we haven't had any info on lily uh, no jury notes, nothing really on Ken, uh, nothing on Dalsum. Honda's nerfed to the ground and barely given anything. So like everyone's like panicking, but like once again, guys, they, they can't test everything. They have no access to training mode there and they only have like 10 minutes at a time. So yeah, keep it in your pants. Uh, we only have to wait till May 22nd and we'll get the full scope of the notes here. So yeah, there's still hope. Like for example, if they need to do something like a really big change, like adding new moves to Lily or something, they're gonna save that for the for the final build of the game. So that's cool. Thanks, Ata. Thanks for getting Catcom to speak out and confirm some stuff. You know, all this could be avoided if Catcom just gave us the patch notes now. You know, like Tech and Eight gave us the patch notes like a week ahead. You know what I'm saying? And it, would, it wouldn't start start a panic. You know, Ata the God. <laughs> Good old Ata. All right, let's go over uh, the small patch note stuff that has been reported. Nothing, nothing too crazy has been added, but I got White Wind to clarify some things for me and my buddy at the event. So first off, uh, Marisa's forward heavy kick target combo can now go into level two. Her charge heavy punch can combo to medium punch on hit naturally. Ooh. And her back throw in the corner forward dash not in throw range, but still in standing medium punch range. Okay, let me go over that. Okay, so Marisa's forward heavy kick. This target combo. Dude, I forgot she had this, guys. You guys remember she had this? Nobody uses this. That's probably why they buffed it. So she can now go into her level two from this. She can't like drive rush or anything. So, I mean, that's okay. I, I guess that's gonna help like her corner combos. Cause like if you, if, you, if you go into like, you know, OD Superman punch, you need to go into level two. You need to spend a little bit more meter to get some more damage. Like you can go like like this into level two, but that costs a lot of meter. So now I guess you can go like this and then target combo, and then level two. You know, you know what I'm saying? So a little a little, little damage, but they're looking at target combos that that people aren't using. Uh, the other change is her charge heavy punch. It's plus six. Uh, but her medium punch has seven frames. So now this will combo naturally uh, before she needed a counter hit or a punish counter. I mean, it makes sense. If you if you land this thing, you, you should be rewarded for a big deep. So then now she'll be, get the full combo without having to, uh, you know, get the opponent to press a button. So that's a that's a nice small little buff. I wish they buffed Marius's jumping charge heavy. We were talking about this before, but these like no one uses this, man. Like at all. Like, is she even more plus on block when she does this? Let's see. 
plus nine. Yeah, they even seem like she's more plus. Plus thirteen. Oh, actually, the, 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 she is. But I mean, once again, you're like, I don't know. You're hitting so late. They can like jab and tear you probably. Uh, the other change reported is that when she does her back throw from the corner, she's no longer in throw range. She's plus 11. Wow. But she's still in medium punch range, so she's probably like this far away. This is just a universal change across all characters. They're doing a system-wide change where every single character no longer has throw loops from a back throw. They're doing this to go after perfect parry because, you know, perfect parry in the corner, back throw. Now you're in the mix and now it's your turn to guess. And if he perfect parries you, then it's your turn to guess. You know what I mean? Like it just keeps looping. They're going after like side switch stuff. So that is it for Marisa. Uh, let's see here. New info on wake up drive reversal can be activated by holding forward and heavies on wake up. Uh, I, I, I clarified this too with my friend. So when you when you're on when you're on the ground, uh, you don't have to just mash forward and heavies and then accidentally get a DI. You simply just hold forward, hold the heavies, and it'll auto time for you, and you'll get the dry reversal every time. In case you guys don't know, dry reversal can now be done on the ground uh, as a wake up option. But I'll, I'll go into that in in more detail in a bit here. It says distance after blocking dry reversal is the same. Uh, also, when you parry it, okay, so it's like the same. It works the same way still. Looks like it could be punished on block with command throw or a jab. Medium across the board. Normal throw doesn't reach. Normal throw doesn't reach. But they said that the distance hasn't been changed. That's weird. Well, either way, uh, yeah, dry reversal is minus six on block now from minus eight. But once again, I'll, I'll go over that in more detail. I think that's it. Oh, Ata. I think Ata like apologized to everybody too. <laughs> for, for trolling everyone and causing a crazy panic. But we saw we saw the command list for Akuma clarifying that it was manually input, but there was a lot of confusion over it, like a ton. Okay, so Kimberly, uh, it was mentioned that her heavy elbow goes into her OD uh, jumping command grab. So I'm assuming they're talking about her core circle forward heavy punch, this. And I got my buddy to just confirm that for us. So now she can do this. She can go that into OD command grab, which is a big deal. Um, that really helps her combos because even though she has like fantastic corner carry this OD command grab actually leads into like mid-screen can setups That I unfortunately don't know to show you guys, but trust Trust me. I will show you guys in the future, but that helps her mix up a game a lot. That's a good That's a good uh, buff for her as for Jamie. They made his crouching medium punch uh, plus five on hit from plus three this is a big deal because now he can combo crouching medium punch into OD palm, which gives him uh, pretty much a free two drinks against a lot of characters. And on top of that, since he's plus five, a lot of people are mentioning, well, does that mean he can link it to his standard heavy punch? Because heavy punch is five frames. And I got my friend to test this and he can. This will link now, crouching medium punch into heavy punch. So Jamie players are continuing to get more and more buffs for this character yeah and they mentioned too like his heavy palm is safe on block like that is there's gonna be some unga like jamie man <laughs> you guys gotta be careful man this character has a lot of moves and if you continue to buff him you guys might regret it there's a reason why <laughs> capcom made this character like the dan of street fighter 6 but yeah if you guys missed out on all like the jamie notes and stuff i did uh my previous video I went over all the stuff up to date. So if you watch that video plus this one, you'll be you'll be all caught up. Okay, I also got my friend to clarify the whole dungeon stock thing with Ryu. So once again, uh, when Ryu has a dungeon stock now, if he does a light fireball or a medium fireball, he'll no longer lose the stock and use up the dungeon charge. It'll only use up the stock if he does heavy Hadouken. Uh, which is a massive, massive buff to Ryu. It's it's so big, guys. He'll be able to zone, and if you get close to him, he has the dungeon charge just waiting, or a surprise knockdown fireball that he can use on you. And yeah, if man, if he hits you with this when you're close, like you're you're in so much trouble. Uh, on top of that, he tested the Hashogeki. So once again, if you do the light version of the Hashogeki or the medium version, it will also not use up the stock. So only the heavy. Hashogeki uh, will use up the dungeon charge. 
So you can do like your your light tatsu, um, you know, dash forward, light hash will get key pressure without using the stock. You have it like ready to go. That's a big deal. And then I got my friend to test out if his target combos go into stock and they do. So now Ryu can go heavy punch, heavy kick, and he'll be able to cancel into the dungeon charge, uh, which is really powerful. It probably gives him Oki on top of that. And he can do this one as well. Uh, into the dungeon charge. It should be able to be cancelable. He tested both. They're gonna need it to convince Ryu players to stick around and not play Akuma. But I think Ryu's gonna be... His zoning has just went through the roof and his damage output has gone through the roof. So Ryu's looking really good uh, for his season two, which is exciting because usually if Ryu doesn't get a good head start uh, when it comes to Street Fighter games, Capcom has a lot of troubles getting this character to be seen again. One, one small balance change that I, I mentioned before when it's going to go a little bit more detail is that uh, Manon can now do back heavy punch into the Toro kick like this will combo naturally. Uh, before Manon used to use this to punish like uppercuts on block or reversals, uh, which is okay because now she can do something like, you know, like this and get the stock. But the, another reason why they changed this is uh, Manon's auto combos in modern controls. She actually has no... Uh, auto combos that give her the metal, the metal level. So like, I'll do the light auto combo. So there's nothing. And then the medium one, she goes into level one. And then her heavy one. You, you see how she starts off with back heavy punch? So I would imagine her new heavy auto combo is back heavy into, uh, hold on. I don't know how to use modern controls. Uh, you go like this. Wait, how do you OD it? Anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about. She has an auto combo that does that combo I just showed you. Okay, so that seems to be it for balance patch changes so far. Once again, uh, this event's happening throughout the weekend. And there's a big holiday coming up in Japan. So uh, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Let's talk about Akuma now. Lots of Akuma information. Tokido himself has got his hands on Akuma. He already has an unfair head start. And he has some information to share that's been translated that I will go over right now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, uh, my friend tested Akuma as well. And he was talking about Akuma's damage output is really, really high. He does a lot of deeps, which is no surprise because he does, in fact, have 9,000 health. The standard for health across almost every character is 10,000. So Akuma has 10% less health than everyone. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but trust me, it is. That means one jumping combo and Akuma's like dead. Uh, Tokido mentions he didn't do any combos, obviously, but he thinks the new punch rush Akuma kept from Tekken will be an excellent damage ender extender. Damn. Tokido plays Tekken as well. Yeah, that's the uh, Akuma's Hashogeki move, his course circle back punch. Damage ender. He wonders if Akuma having 9,000 health means that there's a possibility that other characters have health adjustments for balance. I I would imagine so, but I don't think they'll make any character lower than 9,000 because Akuma has to have the lowest health in the game. It's tradition. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe like 9,500 for some characters like like Luke or Kami or Ken. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I like the idea of characters having different health pools, guys. I do. And I miss stun. Uh, Akuma has very fast forward walk speed. To test Akuma's speed, he had a Akuma and Chun-Li walk into each other. Akuma pushed Chun-Li back. <gasps> no. Going straight to the lab immediately. No. No way. Miss Sutz. No. If Akuma can push Chun-Li back, Insane walk speed. Hold on, hold on. Who who's as fast as Chun Li? Kami? Who are the fast characters? I know Dalsum. <laughs> Cap. I think Kimberly's her back walk speed though. They're almost the same, but I think Kami is winning slightly. Who else? Let's check Kimberly? Kimberly with the buff. Very slightly. How fast is Akuma? He's got to be this fast. Dude, 
If he's actually this fast, you know how scary that's going to be? I, I doubt his walk back speed will be as good as Kimberly's, but the forward walk speed sounds really scary. Forward back step feels average, probably about 19 frames. I'm assuming he's talking about uh, forward dash and back dash. 19 frames, that's standard. Akuma's reach is pretty good, equivalent to Ken. I like how Ken is the baseline, even though Ken's like above average everyone else. Crouching medium kick is seven frames. Oh no, you guys told me it was eight. You guys lied to me. You guys, there's no, oh no. Another seven frame low forward. Guys, this is Tokido himself who tested this. I mean, it's Akuma, but like, seriously, I don't want another low forward seven frame in this game. I mean, it looked a little stubby in the trailer, I guess. His standing light punch is four frames. Heavy punch has long reach and is cancelable, of course, like all the other Shotos. Akuma has an overhead and it can combo from Drive Rush, which we saw from the trailer. It says, Tokido is excited to use after maining Ken for so long. Oh my god. Get a load of this downplay. Man, Ken players had it so hard. No Drive Rush overhead. Tokido's so happy. Oh, you guys don't know the struggle. He says he's sad that Akuma lost his demon flip throw. It's okay, Tokido. You got you got command grab from from uh, teleport now. So once again, Akuma can uh, cancel uh, his demon flip and then do a regular throw instead. Says drive rush speed isn't that impressive. Definitely slower than Ken's. Once again, I think Tokido has been playing top tier for so long, he forgets the average speed of drive rush. So yeah, that means Ken will have like the fastest drive rush of the Shotos. I I mean, looking at the trailer, Akuma's drive rush speed kind of looked like somewhere between like Ed, Ryu, and Rashid, maybe. It, it what matters is that it's bursty, because we saw the trailer. The startup burst is important for like you know dry rush jab and stuff. Look like Ryu, yeah, I would imagine. Remember, remember, if it's like Ryu, it has to be better. Those are the rules. The command grab out of Akuma's um teleport does a lot of damage i i doubt it would be like spd damage but command throw damage not normal throw damage that's good he mentions akuma's teleport isn't invincible and it's closer to something like ed's kill rush now that's cool akuma's teleport cannot be canceled into from normal moves tokyo thinks it'll still be good for sliding out of the way of moves or getting the surprise grab yeah, it'd be used more for for uh, punishing lots of parry use. And like in the trailer, it showed it dodging the uppercut. Yeah, I like that change too, Qua, with the, the charge fireball. Uh, if Akuma's OD uppercut fully connects, it ends in uh, Misogi, which, which is his downward punch, like his V-Trigger 1 hard knockdown thing. That's Akuma's uh, reversal naturally with OD. So we saw that from the trailer. Demon Flip can end in slide kick, a dive kick, an overhead, air fireball, or nothing. Uh, he could, it can also go into Tatsu, but we already knew about that. Dive kick is minus three on block, and not nearly as fast as a command as command dive kicks like Kami's. But Tokido thinks it'll be useful to bait out anti-air normals once again. We saw an example of this in the trailer, uh, but at least it's safe. Minus three is still safe. Akuma's fireball is a three-stage charge, normal, partial charge, and full charge, which is his red fireball. The charge versions are safe on block, but slow. Once again, we saw this from the trailer. Uh, if you, in case you guys don't know, Akuma's red fireball as a separate command is gone. It's now tied in with his normal fireball. And you simply just hold down the punch button, I think. You can charge it halfway to get two hits, and then full way to get the, the crazy lava red fireball three hit fireball I, I i forgot to get my friend to test the od version because i want to know if you can charge that or if it's automatic canned charge but um he mentions raging demon cannot be jumped out of after the flash just like Z uh, zangief's level three that's crazy tokido was able to do it out of raw dry rush <laughs> here we go guys here we go and once again this is the reason why Capcom showed restraint and made sure you cannot one button input it in modern controls because full screen demon flip empty into demon or demon going through fireballs or whatever. Just having 
a move that advances forward that's invincible that you can jump out of after the freeze is gonna be nuts and it's ca only so i'd imagine it does a ton of damage as well demon yeah demon flip into empty into into raging demon and all that stuff he mentions crouching medium punch is minus on block but standing medium punch is plus that's the gut punch we'll go over the trailer again i'll show you guys he mentions his normal level three is a strike but tokyo didn't check if the ca version has a different cutscene. Uh, but it does. My friend tested it too. So we're, we're good on that. Okay, cool. Thanks to Tokido for testing that for everyone. All right. So I got my friend to also clarify some information for us on Akuma's normals and such. I know, guys. The Akuma trailer again. I promise you it won't take long. I know we've seen this a thousand times, but these normals are driving me crazy. Okay. So the very first button. Hold on. Bam. Okay. This button, I was wrong, guys. <laughs> Remember I had all the past trailers open up? I'm like, see, they don't use command normals at the beginning. I had like all my proof and everything. It turns out I'm wrong. This is forward medium kick. I, I, I noticed some, some people also assume that this might be the far version of a standing medium kick. Uh, that's not true. So this is a command normal. Yeah, Vesper wrong. Capcom, they mixed this up on the fourth trailer. Now I'm going to be on my toes for whatever character is announced next. So yeah, you cannot cancel this button and it's a far reaching medium kick. Forward medium kick is the command for this. Yeah, we messed up guys. This for the millionth time is heavy punch. It is cancelable. It does a lot of damage and it's just like Ken's and Ryu's and uh, Ed's. All right, keep going. This is a uh, standing medium kick. So it's exactly like Street Fighter V. It's not a command normal. So this is standing medium kick into, uh, uh oh, let me check. This is standing uh, medium kick, standing heavy kick target combo. And it is confirmed that this ax kick is in fact an overhead, but it might be like a frame trap thing like Manong with her back medium kick, but yeah. Standing medium kick, heavy kick. Clarified. Bam. Yeah, it looks stubby, but trust me, it's not. This is standing medium punch. It's stubby, but it is plus on block. Drive rush, standing medium punch pressure and throwing. And with his walk speed, it's going to be insane. Target combo. Uh, let me clarify what this is. This is medium punch, medium punch, target combo. And uh, the second hit, I believe, is cancelable. So it might be a one hit confirm or, like I said, more pressure. This is simply just crouching heavy punch now. I know it looks like back heavy punch, but it's confirmed now. Easy anti airs. So it's just like Ryu, but better. Mm -mm -mm. This is back heavy kick. New command normal. His V skill kick is now back heavy kick. Also an ant here that launches and you'll be using this button a lot because he's got a ton of juggles that go into this. So now we have those two buttons confirmed and the double kick is his standing heavy kick. Just like uh, Street Fighter V. Yeah, like Chun-Li. Yeah, that's a good comparison. Dive kick is after a forward jump at the apex of your jump. <gasps> I said apex. Uh, and da it's down medium kick like it always was. So nothing changed there. Down me at the apex. This is forward heavy punch. Let me check what the target combo is. It's forward heavy punch, heavy punch, heavy kick. One hit confirmable as well. Really, really good. Okay, uh, my buddy also confirmed that <laughs> Akuma cannot do an air fireball while jumping back. And he can't do an OD version of his air fireball while jumping back. And he cannot do his tatsus either while jumping backwards. Not really a surprise, but some 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 people want me to test that just to make sure. Um, okay, so if you do a, a demon flip, if you press nothing, he'll um, automatically go into the slide just like before. The the empty into throw in order to do a demon flip into nothing, you simply hold down. That's what my friend told me. Holding down does that. So it's not pressing throw. Just so you guys know. Some people mentioned that that anti-air heavy kick he had might be a down down input. Thank goodness it wasn't. 
once again, uh, my friend tested he if he has one button demon on the demo build of Akuma, and he does. So eight, <laughs> like I think eight. I don't know. I don't know if eight has been vindicated, but either way, we know that the build they're playing, guys, is not the final build. So hang in there, guys, for patch note stuff. It's an older build confirmed by both Capcom and uh, everybody else. So. Mm -mm -mm. Right here, this this is just a standing heavy kick, just like Street Fighter V. Standing heavy kick, medium kick, drive rush, medium punch, crouching heavy punch, light tatsu, heavy uppercut, level three. And once again, guys, for the millionth time, Akuma has two level threes. This is the normal version of his level three, which I think is a double core circle four kick. I don't know, I have to check the move list again. But we don't see the CA version of this yet. Maybe I can get my friend to describe it for us. And he has a separate level 3, which is his Raging Demon that he can only do in yellow health. Or as a CA, less than uh, 25%. Yeah, Akuma looks really, really strong, guys, from, from the information that everyone's telling us. It, it definitely seems like it justifies him having 9,000 health. Just uh, prepare yourselves for the Akuma army, guys. It's going to get crazy.